Welcome to episode 11 of Algo Trading Series from Market Secrets. In this episode, we are going to learn how to code RSI trigger line strategy. So let's get into the setup. This strategy is very simple. We are going to use only two items, moving average and RSI. When you take the moving average of the RSI, it indicates the average momentum, while RSI generally indicates the current momentum. So when it comes to the trade condition, we are going to buy when RSI crosses above its moving average and we are going to sell when RSI goes below the trigger line or the moving average. So when it comes to the parameters, we are going to use 7 period RSI to generate sufficient signals. The moving average used here is 15. It's almost the double of RSI period. So let's begin with the script setup now. First part of the script is self-explanatory. These are the parameters used for charting and backtesting, which we have already discussed in detail in the previous episodes. So I'm skipping this part. Now comes the actual part of the script. First, we are setting the parameters for RSI indicator and the moving average. As discussed earlier, we are setting this to 7 and 15 respectively. Next, we are getting the corresponding RSI and moving average values into a variable. And then comes the buy condition. We are going to go long if RSI crosses above the trigger line, that is our moving average, and if the RSI goes above 60. It's simple, right? And we will square up this long position when RSI goes below the trigger line or the moving average, and if RSI drops below 40. And the reverse is true for shorting. We will short when RSI goes below the trigger line or moving average and RSI drops below 40 and we will square off our shorting position when RSI crosses above the trigger line or the moving average and if it goes above 60. And as discussed in the previous episodes, we are using the XRM to remove the excess signals which helps us to avoid taking multiple positions at the same time. Rest of the lines in the script are self-explanatory. These are used for plotting the charts, which we have already discussed in detail in the previous episodes. So I'm skipping this part as well. So when you look at the charts, you can spot the buy and sell signals using the up and down arrows. You can also run a back test on this code. So I'm running the back test now on Nifty and Bank Nifty. I'm selecting all symbols. In this database, I have just data for Nifty and Bank Nifty for a limited period of time. So I'm going to run the back test now on Nifty and Bank Nifty for six months. This is being executed on the 15 minutes time frame and we are going to take only long positions. So let's run the back test. So if you look at the results, we are generating approximately 9K profits on a capital of 1 lakh rupees in a period of six months. You can play around the parameters we have used in this strategy to optimize the returns. Do give this a try and let us know if you have any questions or issues. If you want any specific strategy to be scripted and discussed as part of the forthcoming episodes, drop the details in the comment section. We will definitely consider it. Hit the like button if you have liked this video and share it with your friends if you find it useful. Also subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video or conduct a live session. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Goodbye.